I thought you were get here in time. Holy God. Mystic coins, oh boy. I'm really upset. George. I wasted his time 2017. You know, I was gonna get on the stuff. Like, you sound dead, Brian. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get that thing, but you know. That's what I thought. I was surprised you got on. I remember like a bunch of low. Also, my free time in Final Fantasy ran out, and now I can't even like open it. <laughs> if you log, if you if you're in the launcher and you try to log into an account that doesn't have a subscription, it says you don't have an active subscription. Wow, <laughs> George, you are a fake subscription. I landed. Yeah, yeah. Did, like, the... and where we live. Remember that? Yeah. Remember our, our favorite place. Yeah, yeah, I'd and pay 12 or 15 if I wanted to. Is it 12? It might be 12. And I'm pretty it's sure 12 I'm for survivor. one character. So if you only play one character, it's 12. Which, 12 for one character. Good. And since, like, you I'm know, you can have sure. every class on one character. Yeah, it makes sense. But I think I did it. That's probably what I would do, honestly. Uh, yeah. But I still have the free trial account that I made, and I can still play on that. I think they all killed each other. So I've been thinking about doing that just to get my fishing and crafting needs out of my life. <laughs> that, that's like what, up until level 30 something? It's 35. Mm, yeah, I couldn't do that then. It... You couldn't do that? I mean, I guess I could make another account, huh? So or, here's the thing, uh... it, it doesn't apply to accounts that haven't had a... What?
20 meter radius. I killed like, the last oh. of them. That's easy to fit in my rotation. Mm hmm. Holy god. I mean, it's better than. I don't know. I, I enjoy dungeoning in ESO as well, but it's just not the same for me, and I understood why. Probably because it's ESO, which is a different game. Yeah. It's a different video game, dog. It's, it's really. <sighs> It's really just not an M. It doesn't have that standard MMO gameplay, which is really weird to say. It's but its own. I mean, it's it, it. They very much attempted to make it a hybrid. Yeah. And it comes across that way. I guess I kind of just like miss the classic style of it. So the one thing I miss from Guild Wars is I wish there was more of the Trinity in it. Because I really like Guild Wars. Guild Wars does a lot of things well, but doesn't do like close. Closed PV, well, like small group PV. It's really good at doing large scale, but not that great at small scale. The only good small scale stuff is fractals, and that's because it's like small experience that focus on interesting mechanics. Yeah, that'd be. Yeah. Either. I'm disgusting. No, it's I'm not. so disgusting. I'm a disgusting person. Uh -huh. Personally, I like that though. Sorry, I'm very good. You're I do too, but Brandon. I can see how it, like it kind of curbs the the push for some people to do content. I mean, it's kind of like they give you a lot of stuff that in game. That... Mm-hmm. Most of it to the end of like just cosmetics, I guess. But most people like like the gear progression though. Yeah. See, I, I see the opposite of that, where I see a lot of people who you know, like the cosmetic over the gear progression. Like, I remember for me, like, a lot of, like, the reason why you did Dungeons and Raid and WoW was to get better gear. And it wasn't just, like, stat increases to gear, yes. it was, like, tier gear, which that, gave, like, SKS certain, like, 14. unique stuff. Uh, what kind of, what other gun do you have? A scar. Uh, SKS. Fuck. No. Mini. Sorry, Mini. Mini? Okay. Yeah, no, I, I get that, Dimitri, but... Hmm. See, I feel like that's kind of one of the big things that draws me into Guild Wars, is that I've never had to come back and, like, look at all my characters and be like, oh, they're all out of gear now. They're all out that of gear, I can't play any of them anymore, I need to go back and grind them all back up. That is tr very true. And I really enjoy that experience. That's one thing I was thinking about Final Fantasy, was that, like, yeah, I'm not even at max level, but it's really annoying that they bumped the level cap again. Because that mm -hmm. means that now I have to put a ton more time in if I were to play the game again and hit max level. And on top of that, anything else that I wanted to do after that would take that much longer. Yeah, exactly. Like, if imagine if you had a character that was, like, max level in, like, almost all the things, and then the new expansion drops, and you're like, well, I gotta, like, raise ten level, like, five different classes now. And there's only See, so many quests that I can that's take. The, that's the thing, is like, I feel like because of that, it encourages not having so many alts, while Guild Wars is pretty much like, here, have every single alt ever. <laughs> yeah, which I think alt, is like... my boy. Like, like Again, Final Fantasy XIV is alt. definitely anti-alt, like, in just yeah. every, every way imaginable, I think. They want you to have one character, and that's it. And I kind of like that. And the game is built yeah. around it, whereas Guild Wars is built around you. We want you to have a ton of characters, and we want you to be interacting with a lot of people. Mm hmm. Whereas Final Fantasy is like, we want you to be interacting with small groups of people and having one character. Yeah. I mean, they even have what's called, they have like uh, event systems like Guild Wars does. Yeah, they do. They have that whole like fate system or whatever, but I don't mm -hmm. think it's as robust as Guild Wars. Because well, Guild Wars has the event system. It also has a lot more systems like I, I think... world bosses and. <laughs> yeah. oh, fucking. They, ha the they, they have that with the fate system, but it's very yeah. much like here's a big guy, time. or here's a bunch of enemies, or here's a bunch of things that we need collected, which is yeah. basically oh, again I haven't seen much of like the later game fates. 
but I know yeah. that's how a lot of Guild Wars' uh, events started off. But I haven't seen any of the events actually or actually chain into stuff like Guild Wars does. I haven't either. Like I did, which is, one of the, which is one of the coolest, which is one of the coolest things I think about Guild Wars is having like these just open event things that are happening that actually chain into each other and unlock other events and have the possibility.